what is going on people I'm here for another review for you guys I'm doing a whole bunch of these things so hopefully you enjoy it hopefully you like my take on certain things or the movies I'm reviewing hopefully you're enjoying them let me know by either giving me a thumbs up leaving some comments and saying hey listen I like what you're doing I don't like like what you're doing I don't like the movies you're reviewing I don't know like what you're saying about it let me know but I'm enjoying this so I'm gonna continue and if you couldn't tell this right here is the movie I'm gonna review Emily uh, put out by uh, Dark Sky Films actually came out this Tuesday I just got it in the mail today so that's why I'm a little uh, a little you know behind usually I'll watch something new and then I'll do a review what I've been doing reviews of is more of the independent films as opposed to the big budget films that usually get promoted um, you know big time so what I'm doing is more independent films that you know kinda need the limelight um, you know what I did get the fifth wave I still haven't watched it yet but that got so much promotion anyway this one I really didn't see until I saw it, uh, a trailer on YouTube and I found it very interesting it looked um, you know I, I it caught my eye and I'm like you know what I gotta get this so I finally got it in the mail yesterday but pretty much uh, this movie is directed by uh, Michael Thielen again if I mess up names I apologize if they happen to watch these uh, reviews I apologize but Michael Thielen I believe is the director uh, it's written by uh, Richard Raymond and Harry Herbeck uh, it stars Sarah Bolger Carly Adams Carl Bailey along with other people um, let me get into it first I'll explain um, pretty much what this movie is about uh, right in the beginning you see this girl uh, on her phone talking to her friend and uh, talking about going to this babysitter gig I guess you want to call it a car rolls up um, and they ask her if she's so-and-so she says yes and you see her pretty much just get abducted and that's it right in the beginning that's that's all you know so as the movie progresses you see a family a couple with three kids and uh, they're getting ready to go out for an anniversary dinner and you can see that the kids are you know kind of um, causing trouble and such and um, all of a sudden you hear okay we're gonna get the babysitter they get the babysitter pick her up you know end up going to the house and uh, the f mother and father you know have to leave so they leave and uh, they get ready for a nice dinner so pretty much you're sitting here Sarah Bolger being the babysitter you know right in the beginning uh, really likes the kids this and that and the kids are kinda getting along except for the oldest one who you know kinda is a uh, I don't know exactly the ages of these kids, but pretty much he's one of those kids that are like, you know, I'm a teenager, I really don't need a babysitter kind of deal. So you can tell uh, them two were, you know, not feeling each other kind of deal. And as the movie progresses, um, stuff starts, you know, getting a little darker. And uh, let's just say that, you know, I never had a babysitter, but I would never want a babysitter such as this. As the, like I said, as the movie progresses, um, stuff gets darker. Uh, things start happening more that, you know, this babysitter might not be what she portrayed herself as or that she not, might not be up all there. Um, that's all I'm going to leave it to because, uh, you know, if I start saying stuff, you know, kind of gives away part of it. But let me just say, it's one of those babysitter gone bad kind of deals where, um, you know, in the beginning, you know, you think one way and by the end, it's, you know, a totally different way. But let me just say, I knew Sarah Bolger from uh, the Spiderwick Chronicles. Uh, I also found out she was in the Lazarus Effect, but I did not know that, to tell you the truth. Um, but, you know, she's far from that, you know, character in Spiderwick Chronicles in this. Um, you know, I was very impressed by the young the young kids. There was, you know, like I said, a teenager who played his role well, but, you know, by that age, you know, usually they, you got your acting chops under you. Uh, there was two younger kids. Again, I don't remember the ages. I don't remember if they mentioned the ages, 
but uh, the youngest kid, I was very surprised because usually, you know, uh, you can tell they're grainy or, or not grainy, but, you know, for having, being such a young age, it's probably that much harder to, you know, portray uh, really good acting on, this, on the screen, but all three of the kids that were in the movie, you know, did a really good job. Uh, they went along with it. Um, what I did enjoy was, I don't want to say it was a slow burn, but in the beginning, you know, everything seems hunky-dory, but you knew being it a horror movie or being a thriller movie, something was going to happen. So it did build up to uh, the ending, which, you know, definitely got crazier and crazier and crazier as the time went on. But um, it was definitely, you know, lived up to what I, you know, the trailer put out there. It definitely lived up to what... You know, I expected. I enjoyed this a whole lot. I mean, uh, if you're into those, you know, I don't want to say babysitter movies because it's not really a genre for babysitter movies, but one of those, you know, um, I want to say dual personality either because that's not how it is. But you know, f seeing one person in one light and then they evolve into something else, I guess you want to call it. Um, but this one, like I said, there were certain scenes I was like, wow okay well that's different or you know um i was watching some of the special uh features and they were saying that uh you know this is the first ever babysitter i guess movie where it's happening all in one night in the same house kind of deal because i don't remember any other ones such as that i mean there was certain scenes with certain babysitters and throughout the course of a time but never like one night specifically in one house at you know as the story goes but um like i said if you're into you know progressing uh a different personality again i guess that's the best way i can put it but like i said it's one of those it's one of those i was very impressed um the trailer if if you watch a trailer for this you're not going to get disappointed because there's some movies you watch a trailer and it's different or you know, it just kind of goes into a different tangent. This one, what you see in the trailer is uh, a small taste of what you get throughout the entire movie. So I'd, I'd say if you're looking for a movie to watch, definitely go ahead and check out uh, Emily. Um, again, put out by uh, Dark Sky Films. I'll look for it on Amazon. That's where I bought it from. I'll look for the link and I'll put it, post it on the bottom. But uh, yeah, I enjoyed it. So I'd definitely say go ahead and check it out. Again, if you're digging these reviews if you're liking uh you know what what movies i pick or what i have to say let me know again i do have an instagram where i do post all the movies i get so if there's something on there that you want to see either you know get a hold of me through instagram or through uh youtube or something and i'll have no problem uh doing a review on a certain movie um Again, what I'm trying to do more now is go the independent route, find a lot of, you know, lower budget, not necessarily lower budget, but, you know, movies that didn't get a th uh, theatrical release or didn't get, you know, the push or the, you know, uh, the proper promotion that it should have. So this one, you know, like I said, I don't know if it came out in the theaters. I don't think so. But once I saw the trailer for it, I'm like, oh, this definitely sounds intriguing. So definitely had go ahead, check out Emily. Again, I'll leave the link for uh, the Amazon uh, to, to buy it or um, yeah, to buy it. So again, thank you for everyone who continues to watch these reviews. Uh, hopefully I'll get better and better and better as I go because I do want to do this more. Um, and yeah, I guess until the next time, I'll see you guys.